Good morning, West Margaret Missionary Baptist Church family and friends. This is a good day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. So glad to be back with you this morning. I thank God, amen, for the many blessings he had bestowed upon me, and I pray upon uh, your lives also. I'd like to talk with you uh, this morning uh, on this subject, finding, finding a refuge while enduring a storm. Uh, we want to go to Psalms 57 and 1 for one scripture text. Be merciful unto me, O God, be merciful unto me, for my soul trusted in thee. Yea, in the shadows of thy wings will I make my refuge until these calamities be overpassed. In Psalms 91, verses 1 and 2, uh, these are the readings from the proverbial writer. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. In Psalms 91 and 11, it said, For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. And we are living in a time, a man, where we are going through and we are enduring a man, a storm, a storm like we have never faced before in our lives. And like any storm that come upon us, a man, we seek refuge, a man, to protect us, a man, while the storm is passing over. That word refuge means protection or shelter, as from danger or from hardship. It means a safe haven, something, a man, or something to which one may turn to for help, relief, or escape. Sometimes one may feel like that. They, they just want to get away from it all, get to a safe place, a quiet place, a peaceful place, and a secure place. In verse 1, the writer says, He who dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High. He's talking about a special place for a special people, a special place for a special people. And these promises, amen, these promised blessings are not for every believer, but only for those who live in close fellowship with God, those who are sincere and in constant fellowship with him. They are the ones that experience the joy of the Lord in their lives. They become possessors of rare and special benefits that are missed by those who follow at a distance and those who grieve the Holy Spirit. They are individuals who cry out, for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. See, we are covered by God. It said we shall obey, abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And that word abide means to inhabit, to stay, to remain. It is where we live. And it said the Lord will shield all who dwell with him and within him. They will be under his care and prote protection. Under his shadow, we shall find comfort, we shall find grace, and we shall find mercy. And he is a strong tower in times of war. What a safe haven he is in the storm of life. The abiding in Christ indicates an intimate spiritual relationship with Christ. It means in continual connectivity with him. It means an unbroken relationship. 
be mindful that sin breaks our relationship with Christ. It temporarily disconnects us from Christ. But abiding means, amen, that we're staying with him, that we are connected to him on a consistent and continual basis. The abiding with him brings blessings and it also brings benefits in the life of the abider. He says in his word, if you abide in me and my word abide in you, you can ask what you will and it shall be given unto you. I would say of the Lord in this text, he is my refuge and my fortress. He is my refuge. He is the essence of consolation. We encourage and console. He encourage. He encourages and consoles us as we go through the trials and tribulations of this world. He is my refuge. He is our refuge. What a wonderful proclamation that we are making, but we must act upon what we are proclaiming in our lives. What we say that he is our refuge, we must prove by our actions in our lives. We must run to the Lord for his shelter. We must seek his guidance when everything else is falling apart around us. We must ask him for his help when we feel helpless. Who do you run to for your refuge? Where do you hide in times of a storm and times of a trouble? And every one of us seek refuge in something or someone. When life gets too heavy for some, they turn to pills. Some turn to alcohol. Some turn to drugs. Some turn to comfort in others and relationship. Some seek comfort in money, fortune, and fame. But all of those things, a man, are temporary, and more often than not, they let us down. But God is my refuge, and he is my strength. He has never let me down. He has always been there for me. He has always brought me out and through the difficult times in my life. My brothers and sisters, I pray that you would put your trust in God in times of storm. Let him be your refuge. Let him be your strong tower. He is my refuge. And he is my strength. All creatures upon the face of this earth seek refuge in times of trouble. Sometimes, a man, we have to hunker down and wait for the storm to pass. And we need refuge from the raging storms in our lives. In our place of refuge, one of, every one of us at some point in our lives seek refuge in something or in someone. Birds, they seek refuge in their nests in the trees for safety. Foxes flee to their holes for refuge. Children seek refuge in the arms of their parents in their troubling times. But we as Christians, we seek refuge in God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, the eternal protector of all who are his own. In God, in him I will trust. In him I will trust. For I know, I know, I know that I am safe in his arms. John 10 verses 28 through 29. He says unto his disciples, 
I give unto them eternal life. And they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck, pluck them out of my hand. My Father, which gave them unto me, is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. We are safe in his arms. We are safe in his hands. For he is our refuge and our strength. He is our refuge when seen, when hope seems extinct. He is our refuge when financial obligations are eroding our resources. He is our refuge when people we thought that we can depend upon are nowhere to be found. You call and you don't get an answer. You call and they are too busy. You call and they are broke just like you. They don't have the resources to meet your needs. But God is our refuge and our strength. He is our refuge when health news weigh us down. We get a bad doctor's report and and, and they tell us a man that a man that that illness a man is something that we're going to have to live with. He gives us the refuge and strength to live with the problems in our life things that the doctors say that they can't do anything about. He gives us ref refuge and comfort, amen, and brings us through. He's our refuge when our families are under attack. And we are going through a time right now when our families are under attack. We are being attacked by a COVID virus. We are being attacked by racial discrimination and abuses. We are being attacked, amen, by, by financial inequities. He is our refuge and he is our strength. And he's going to, amen, provide us protection from all of these enemies that are afflicting all around us. But we have to put our trust in him. The songwriter said, I will look to the hills from which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord. My brothers and sisters, stop a man seeking refuge in the things of this world, but look to the hills from which cometh our help. It's which is a reference, a man, is that we're looking to a higher power than us. We are looking to our creator, amen, to give us refuge and to give us strength to endure what we're going through right now. Yes, we are hurting, but he gives us hope that will get us through our hurts. Just trust in him and look to him and seek refuge in him and not in the things of this world. He is our refuge when the pressures of living, a man keeps us awake at night. And I know that a lot of us, a man, have had sleepless nights that we toss and turn and wonder how we're going to make it through the night and how we're going to make it through the next day. But we have to trust, a man. The words that David had, the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want that God is give, going to give us everything that we need to make it through the night and to make it through the next day. He feeds the bird, a, birds, a man, that ne neither labor nor do they toil, but yet and still he gives them sufficient food to make it through their times, a man of famine. God will. Bless us, even though we're going through tough times right now. But we have to, amen, 
seek him and call upon him and let him be the refuge that we need to make it through the storms that we face in life. Yes, he is our refuge and he is our strength. But he wants us to come to him as the first resort and not the last resort. We go through a lot of pain, agony, and anxiety because we run to everybody else and everything else seeking refuge rather than making him the priority in our life. And oftentimes, amen, we find that a lot of Christians, amen, they go to God as a last resort. I tried everything else and it didn't work. Now I'm going to take it to the Lord. Why do you put yourself through all that? Amen. When he, amen, will answer you and give you refuge and strengthen you when you seek him, he is always found. My brothers and sisters, let him be your refuge and let him be your strength. A very present help in trouble. When I need a break from it all and I'm being burdened down by the toils and the pressures of life, he is my refuge. When I need a little peace and quiet from the chaos and confusion of this world, he is my refuge. God is my refuge and my strength. My brothers and sisters, seek him, call upon him, and he will answer, and he will allow you, amen, to be covered under the shadow of his wings. And that means that he's going to provide us the protection that we need. He is my refuge. He is our refuge. And when I'm weak, he is strong. Psalms 27 verses 13 and 14 reads, I had fainted. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness in the Lord in the land of the living. In other words, I would have given up. I would have passed out until I looked at all that God was doing in the world, how he gave us the sunlight, amen, to guide us by day, how he gave us the light and the stars of the moon, the stars and the moon, amen, to guide us through the darkness of night, how he had fed the birds and the bees, amen, and all the animals, how he had planted the trees, amen, and how we're living, amen, in his grace and in his mercy, that he provides us, amen, with wills that we didn't dig, amen, homes, amen, that we didn't build, amen, giving us jobs to earn a living, amen. God is a great and awesome God, and we have to trust him no matter what we are going through. Don't faint, don't pass out, but believe, believe in the goodness of the Lord in this land of the living. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say on the Lord again. See, God is our refuge. And we find, amen, that he is our strength in our times of weakness. He has all that we need at the moment that we need it. My brothers and sisters, I, I, I know that 
that uh, we have individuals that tell you that you can find refuge in a whole lot of things, a whole lot of people, and a whole lot of places. But I tried a lot of things in my life, and they didn't work out very well for me. And then I tried the Lord. And I have found that he brings peace in my life, even in the midst of confusion. I find that when my heart is troubled, amen, he brings comfort to me, amen, and allows me to see things in uh, a different way. We spend too much time looking at the dark side when there is a bright side. The songwriter said there's a bright side somewhere. Amen. But we have to look for the brightness and the work of God in all things. Even, amen, a little light can give you guidance in the darkness. Read the word of God. Study the word of God. And you will realize, amen, that he is your refuge and you will find comfort in him. I read the uh, the Psalms, amen, when uh, I get a little down in my life and uh, when I'm troubled, amen, and uh, the enemy is attacking from, amen, every side. And, and I find courage, amen and encouragement in reading the word of God to help me through the times of a storm. And we truly are going through the storms of life right now. And he truly wants to be our refuge in these times. He wants us to call upon him. He wants us to trust in him. He tells us that if you believe in me, that I will work great wonders and bring great blessings into your life. He tells us that his grace is sufficient to meet our every need. And no matter where we are, or no matter what we are going through, that we are never alone. He tells us in his word, Lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of time. I pray that when earth is falling apart all around you, that you will go to the rock of our salvation, who is Jesus Christ, and he will give you rest from your weariness. He will give you peace in your mind from all the confusion that is going on right now. When you need shelter, he is your refuge. When you need protection, he is your refuge. When you are hungry, when you are thirsty, he is your refuge. And he is your strength and a very present help in times of trouble. Seek him. Call upon him. Allow him to perform everything that he has promised. To do in your life. Don't pull away. Don't run away from him. Run to him. For God is our refuge. We find refuge in him from the bondage and the penalty of sin. We find refuge in him from the attacks of our enemy. We find refuge in him from the storms and struggles of life. Be 
mindful, amen, that he is our refuge and our strength, a very present help in trouble. We are in trouble. Let us run to him, amen, because he came to rescue us and to give us refuge in him. When we were without hope, when we were lost in our sins and trespasses, he came down through 42 generations. He was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wrapped in swaddling clothing, lay in the heart of a manger. He walked the dusty streets of Jerusalem, open blinded eyes, unstopped deaf ears, called the lame to walk, called the dead to rise from the grave. He rescued us. He is our refuge in our time of trouble. We were dying because of the wages that we had earned by being disobedient to his word and to his will. We had a death sentence upon us, and he came to rescue us and to give us refuge in him. The Bible said, that he allowed me and me to put nails in his hand and spikes in his feet. They hung him high and they stretched him wide on an old rugged cross on a hill called Calvary. But he had already told those individuals, amen, he had already broadcast to them that if you lift me up. I will draw all men unto me. My brothers and sisters, we have to realize that we are the lift in the lifting business. It is our ministry to lift Jesus Christ so all men can see him and his work on the cross his saving work on the cross. If I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. We are in the lifting ministry, lifting Christ up, that he might be visible for all to see, that they may be drawn to his saving grace. The Bible said that Jesus Christ the mighty Lamb of God laid his head in the locks of his shoulder and he died. He died for you and he died for me that we may be reconciled back to the Father, that we may be redeemed by the shed blood of the Lamb. The Bible said that they took him down, laid him in a borrowed tomb. He laid there Friday night. He laid there all day Saturday. But early Sunday morning that he got up from the grave with all power and heaven in his hands. My brothers and sisters, we serve a living and powerful Christ who is our refuge, who is our strength, who is a very present help in our times of trouble. He looked back at the grave and said, Oh grave, where is your victory? Death, where is your sting? He took the sting out of death and rob grave, the grave of its victory. And then he ascended up into heaven and sitting on the right hand of his father, making intercession on our behalf because he is our refuge 
He is our strength and he is a very present help in times of trouble. He's making intercession on our behalf. And that's not the end of it all. He's saying that I'm coming back for you. I am coming back for you to rescue you from the very presence of sin and the very presence of bodily infirmities and corruption. I'm going to give you an incorruptible body that you can, amen, be with me in heaven forever. And that's called the rapture. For he's going to stop in midair. The dead in Christ shall rise first. And those who have, the, are still alive shall be changed in the twinkling of an eye. We will be made perfect then. Perfect and able to go home to be with our perfect Lord. My brothers and sisters, in the time of trouble and storm that we are going through now, don't become depressed. Don't become despondent. Don't give up. Just realize that God is our refuge in the times of storm. Run to him and don't run away from him. Run to him, but don't run away from him. For he is our refuge and he will give us shelter in our times of storm. He is our hope for the moment, hope for the hour, hope for the day, and hope for the years and our life to come. Trust in him, for he is our refuge and he is our strength. May God bless you and may God keep you. Amen and amen.